hey y'all welcome back to my channel so y'all it's been so long since i have sat down and recorded a video oh it took so much for me to set up y'all know i just moved it's like the background real plain because i ain't got nothing in here but i had to get this video out for you guys because as you guys know i just had a baby but not one baby i had two babies so you know it was a lot it, it, it still is a lot the babies are eight well actually today they turned nine weeks so i have passed my six week postpartum mark and i definitely wanted to do a video just to give advice on like other mothers or someone that's going through postpartum right now on some good postpartum essentials you guys because let me tell you you cannot just have no baby and go home and not be ready okay like <laughs> it, it don't go down like that okay so i hope everything around me looks okay you guys because i have a monitor but the dig on monitor y'all let me i'm gonna take a picture i plugged up the monitor to record and this is what i see so I'm gonna enter on screen how it looks. So I hope everything looks fine, you guys. I'm not gonna keep rambling on. If you haven't already, or if you don't know, my name is Yvette, and if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. I would very much appreciate it. Also, just one other disclaimer, I do have my window open, so if you hear cars driving by, mind your business okay <laughs> so, no, I'm playing. all right let's get into the video y'all <laughs> okay so first things first this is something that i felt like i really didn't need to bring on camera and let y'all know that you need but the first thing that i recommend is leggings or loose fitting clothing like after you have a baby one thing that you do not want to have on is no tight uncomfortable clothing clothing because it's just gonna be a whole lot of whole lot of going on down there so you want to make sure that you have one something that is comfortable that you can sit comfortably you don't have to worry about jeans sitting down poking you in your stomach or just uncomfortable down there so i would definitely recommend that you make sure that you have tights jogging pants something when i was in the hospital i didn't even bring tights to walk around in because you know they want you to wear the hospital gown because it's easier for the nurses and the doctors to come just check you because it's open you know what i'm saying they don't have to wait for you to take your pants off or anything like that but what i did do is i put on my own nightgown and things like that because i just wasn't comfortable with my whole backside being out so eventually i changed to my own nightgown so i would definitely recommend that you have loose clothing because it's just gonna make a world of a difference honestly you guys you want to be comfortable you want to be comfortable after you have babies you want to be comfortable period okay the next thing is one of my fave well i'm not gonna say it's my favorite but i will say but it's by a brand that i feel like is my favorite for postpartum things so these are i'm sorry the box is all jacked up but this is the freedom mom disposable postpartum underwear this is how the box looks and it actually comes with eight boy short briefs so i'm gonna take them out and show them to you guys the reason why this box is not open is because when i bought my box i used them all so i wanted to be able to have items that i could physically show you all um some of them i think is only one other that i don't have but yeah i wanted to be able to show you all so when you open the package it comes in this plastic packaging right here it's two of them actually each of them have three of the boy shorts i picked mine up from target so the reason why i love these so much is because as you know whether you deliver the baby vaginally or c-section you will be bleeding after you have a baby you will be bleeding so what i the reason why i recommend these disposable shorts is because being that you're going to be bleeding so much for one these are just more convenient to where you could just throw them away also what i experienced a lot of the time was even if i had a pad on and and you guys like i know this might sound nasty to some if you're watching this video obviously you're about to have a baby or you're going through postpartum or you may just want to watch this video and it's like I'm trying not to be too vulgar, but I gotta let y'all know. I gotta let y'all know. So if you have a pad on, sometimes when you have a pad on, the blood don't always go on the pad. 
So therefore, sometimes it can get on your underwear. And with that, it can ruin your underwear, you know, it, and it's just, it's just an inconvenience altogether. So with these, these make it so much more convenient because for one, they're very loose. They're boy shorts. Honestly, I was wearing just these around the house. They fit over your tummy. And also, if you get blood on it, just throw them away. That's all you have to do. You ain't gotta worry about it. Look back at it ever again. So, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this, you guys. This, these, these right here, these, I recommend, okay? <laughs> so next up is actually also by the brand Freedom Mom. So this is the Freedom Mom. This is their upside down Perry or Perry bottle. I do not know how that word is pronounced. I always mess it up, but it's the Freedom Mom upside down Perry bottle. I believe it's Perry, 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 Perry bottle. Um, so the reason why I recommend this is this helps a lot, especially if you had to get stitches because of a vaginal birth, or you might even still didn't deliver vaginally, which you tried to push out and you may have ripped down there. This definitely helps because when you have stitches down there, they tell you not to wipe because you can damage the stitches. So when you go to the bathroom, you use the bathroom and you can't wipe. So it's like, how am I supposed to clean myself? In the hospital, they give you like one of these squirt bottles. Like I'll put a picture up, but they give you a bottle that's not really convenient. Like, and I say it's not convenient because Think about it, when you're sitting down, right? If you're trying to, you if you have water in the bottle, and say for instance, you don't have a lot of water in that bottle, you have to squeeze the bottle so much to get the water to the top of the nozzle to where it can squirt up, right? And you wanna squirt it up so it can clean, you know, your lady parts, your girlfriend down there. So this helps so much because as you can see the shape, the shape of it, you can literally sit down, do just like this to where, you know, you're sitting down and you have it right pointed up to where it needs to be pointed up to and you just squirt and all of the water, just the gravity of it is already pushing the water now. So you just squirt and it comes right up and it has these nozzles. Can you see it? It has these nozzles at the top that squirts the water into your little area down there so this this helps a lot you guys because i had stitches i was not able to wipe and i use this faithfully every single time i went to the bathroom another tip that i will say is a lot of the times i ran into where i just use the bathroom and there's no water in here because i used all of the water last time so when you're done using the bathroom i would recommend filling it up with warm water or even hot it depends on how often you're going to the bathroom so that by the time that you actually go back to the bathroom it'll still be a little warm because for me it was uncomfortable trying to squirt cold water up there so it wasn't uncomfortable it just wasn't a good feeling i'll say that so that's one tip that i have for you all when you're done using the bathroom fill it right back up so when it's time for you to go to the bathroom again you ain't even gotta worry about it. The next up is something that someone actually suggested to me when I was in the, um, I, my friend just had a baby and I was in the, like the tampon um, pad aisle trying to get her some essentials. So someone suggested these to me, which is the, the Always Infinity Flex Foam Pads, you guys. When I tell you I am so happy that this person suggested it to me because for one, I'm gonna open it. So you see, right now it's thin. Now, as you can see, I got number five. I got five because you know, you be bleeding a lot. So you needed to hold a lot. And I, when I opened it, I was like, what is this? What is this gonna hold for me? <laughs> you think it won't hold a lot, you guys, but when I tell you, First of all, it's long, which is great because as you sit down or lay down, blood tends to go to the back and then it's like, you see some spots on your underwear. So it's like, this helps a lot because it's long and it's thin. Do you see how thin that is? The pads that the hospital give you, y'all, they are so thick. Okay, it was so thick to the point where when I was wearing leggings, I felt uncomfortable because I was staying at my parents' house. 
So when I was wearing leggings and I was around my dad, I felt uncomfortable because I'm like, oh my goodness, like you can see my pad through my leggings. Like you can see it there. This, you can't even tell that you have anything on. And you guys, it holds so much. It holds so much. And just, um, uh, just another tip aside of using it postpartum if you have heavy menstrual cycles in general i recommend this because i've never been the type to have like extremely heavy menstrual cycles however ever since i've had the twins my body is trying to get back to normal so my menstrual cycles have been so heavy you guys and i'm already I'm currently on my second menstrual, right? And my menstrual is still heavy to the point where it's like, it's heavy. That's all I can say is I'm trying not to go too much into detail. It's heavy. And with my first menstrual strike, menstrual that I came on, I actually bled through my clothes in public, which is so embarrassing, you guys. But hey, life happens. But it just, it really helps to have a pad that holds a lot because after you have a baby, you can't use a tampon. So having a pad that holds a lot helps because let me tell you, even now, I will never, ever, ever go back to any other type of pad other than this. It's so convenient. Okay, so next up is something that I do not have, which is the maternity girdle. Now, you guys, I did actually purchase one. I will put on screen the one that I purchased. I actually got it from Skims. So it's their pregnancy um, girdle, but you pretty much can use it. It's the pregnancy shapewear, but you can use it even after birth. And the reason why I got that is because I didn't want something that was like too tight, but I wanted something that could pretty much like hold me in because after you give birth your stomach is still i still y'all i still look like i was about six months pregnant okay so my stomach every day though was going down as you continue look who came to join us you guys so she was crying say hey boo -boo. don't start crying <laughs> I know I was talking about the maternity girdle. So what I would say is as far as the maternity girdle, I can't recommend any other type of brand other than the Skims one that I had because that's just all that I had. But I would definitely recommend something that can hold you up, hold you in, you know, it makes you feel better because after you have a baby, you're still gonna look pregnant. So it just makes you feel better and it can also help the process i do feel like it helped the process of my stomach going down because it was pressing on my stomach causing my uterus to stream more and blood to come out more so i definitely recommend getting a maternity girdle for real for real for real next item i recommend is having nipple pads now i did not have any nipple pads you guys i should have but i did not i personally did not breastfeed However, I recommend having them because even if you don't breastfeed, what will happen is that your breasts will get really big and swollen and pretty much hard like a rock. It will hurt, okay? It'll hurt. So when your breasts start going down because the milk is just filling up, it's gonna come out. So I would be out, milk start coming through my breath, my nipples and my shirt, and um, I just would have to put tissue there, which is so ghetto and when I could have just got some nipple pads So I definitely recommend getting some nipple pads so you don't have to go through that because if you're not breastfeeding and Even if you are breastfeeding, I still believe that your nipples will still leak because even when I looked up nipple pads It was all for like women that was breastfeeding which I was not but it still will help catch the milk while the milk is coming out of your breast and then eventually you'll stop producing milk because you're not breastfeeding so I definitely recommend getting some breast pads. Okay. You lucky I'm doing a video. What? 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 They had shots today, you guys. So she's cranky. What, mama? Can mommy finish before your brother wake up? Hmm? Okay, y'all. So this item is something that the, the hospital actually gave me. I would have known nothing about this if the hospital did not give it to me. This is the Dermoplast Pain, Burn, and Itch Spray. So this helped a lot because, like I said, I, have, I had stitches. And with the stitches, it burned. When you go to the bathroom, y'all, when you go to the bathroom, it burns. And even when you do simple stuff like sneeze, laugh, anything like that, it's causing, like, like if you if you think about it, if you're a woman, go ahead and cough, like, <clears throat> and it moves down there. So it's like, 
this helps the pain because it is painful to do those simple tasks it definitely helps and this is actually a spray so this is how it looks when it sprays out so it doesn't leave it wet you looking at it mama <laughs> it doesn't leave it wet or anything like that now there is just a spray it's cool it, it just mm, mm. Mm. and even though the hospital gave me this they do sell it at Amazon also you guys so no worries if your hospital does not have it okay you guys so I have three more items just three we all we we coming down we almost there all right you guys so this next item I do not have to show because you'll see why <laughs> it's a pull down shower head the reason why i recommend this is because i didn't even know this was something that i needed until i had it you know how it's just that one item that you just didn't know you need until you had it in your life this is it and the reason why i say that is because when you have stitches the doctor tells you not to wipe you can't wipe you can't use a rag you can't do anything but just like use water and squirt the water. So when you are taking a shower, you can't use a rag to wipe down there. So the shower head, me being able to pull the shower head down helped a lot with me just being able to spray the water up there so that it just cleaned it all out. And I felt more cleaner because when you're going to the bathroom and you can't even use tissue to wipe, you just start to feel like, mm-mm. I just need to sit in the shower so this helped a lot you guys and if you don't if, if it's not a pull down shower head just a regular shower head is you know it's more difficult because it's not detachable so this helped so much you guys if you are able if you're able to get a pull down shower head it's kind of like it, it's kind of similar to the, the the pros of the Frida upside down bottle but it's just in the shower so you really can like get really really clean it's hot water you know you can use it however long you need to it just you know it, it helps this helps clean between shower you know what i'm saying okay the next item is the tux hemorrhoid pads you guys let me tell you and it's your fault I happen to be holding the reason that I had hemorrhoids, okay? So let me tell y'all, I'm going to try not to be as vulgar as possible because it's nasty. It's nasty. Okay, okay, okay. When I was pregnant, you guys, about a month before I gave birth, I developed hemorrhoids. Now, I know you're thinking hemorrhoids. People have hemorrhoids. It's not that bad. When I tell y'all it was so bad for me, First of all, it felt like a constant burning 24 seven. I remember laying in the bed and I actually was crying. I mean, real tears. I'm not just speaking metaphorically, crying because it was so painful and I, could, I couldn't even stand up. I didn't even, it was hurting for me to stand up. Didn't want to sit down. So everything was just painful. And I got some preparation H, tried to use that, that didn't do anything. Honestly, you guys, the tucks did not help me either. That's how bad mine was. It was big and it started bleeding for me. And so that means when I would wipe myself, it was like a tissue full of blood. Like I was on my menstrual. That's how bad it was. So I personally had to get medication um, prescribed to me from my doctor because mine was bad. And I, I wasn't straining or anything. It's just that she was putting so much pressure down on my pelvis that it's just, it was causing me to have hemorrhoids. Yes, you mama. You. That's the reason why I had it. But when you are pushing during labor, you can develop hemorrhoids because you're straining. Personally, me giving birth helped mine go away. Thank the thank thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because I was in pain. I, that's the reason why I asked to be induced because I said I can't, I cannot do it anymore. I can't. So I asked to be induced because of that, but it just helped me so much, you guys. But Tux is still a good brand. It still helps. If you had severe hemorrhoids or have severe hemorrhoids like me, you might want to talk to your doctor to see if it's something else. But this is something that if it's not too bad, so it's just pretty much like medicated pads that has witch hazel on it, which is good for helping the healing process. And you just keep this between you, but you just throw that joint up in there in between the booty cheeks and 
could just leave it there. And it's supposed to help, especially with the itching and the, the uh, burning sensation, it's supposed to help with that a lot. Now, the last item, you guys, is pretty much like an item I just threw in there for humor, but not so, it's, it's, it's you know, I'm playing, but I ain't playing. Why? You guys. When I tell y'all I've been through so many wine bottles since I had the twins, it don't make no sense. Because the reason why I use, I like wine is because it does not get me drunk. It just gets me in a feeling of I feel good. And if you struggle with alcohol or if you're not old enough or you just don't drink alcohol, please don't think that you have to because you don't. I'm just saying that if, it's, if you are a drinker, and you really can't have a drink really because you're taking care of babies. You can't be knocked out, drunk, or you know, sleep. You have to wake up in the middle of the night. So with the wine, it just brought me down because it was times I wanted to cry. It's times I had tears in my eyes. I was stressed, okay? So it just helped me so much, you guys. So, whoo, mamas, please find that thing where it could just bring you down okay we need it okay so that's it for my postpartum essential you guys i hope that helps somebody out there because y'all this is the last time i'm going through this okay that's it this is the last time i ain't going through this no more i wanted to show you guys what i use because you can't just come home from the hospital and think that you don't need anything you need some stuff and I want you to be prepared. So if you have these items, I promise you it'll, you, it'll save you a world of trouble, really. So that's it for this video, you guys. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. As always, thank you for coming to watch another video of me. It feels so good to be sitting down recording, you guys. Like, ee! And Miss Kaylani made an appearance. Oh, oh. You keep speaking. Oh, I'm sorry. She. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama. She's cranky. Okay. She cranky. She had her shots today, so she cranky. Okay. 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 All right, you guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye.